Hi, morning again. Uh, welcome to endovascular.tv. Uh, I'm not going to introduce Dr. Peter Taylor because he's well known, worldwide known. And I'll, first of all, I'd like to thank you for being here with us today. And I'm going to use the next minutes to have um, some opinions uh, and thoughts from you, if you don't mind. Pleasure. Okay. So, the first of all, with what do you think will be the next? How do you see the future of the endovascular therapy? So, I think there's no end to the endovascular uh, revolution. I think all the things that we considered sacred uh, have turned. But the one thing that hasn't is carotid intervention. I think the results of carotid endovascular are not as good as surgery, and I think that's the last remaining bastion to fall, because I think all other uh, areas of vascular have turned very much into endo first and surgery as salvage. Okay, so let's talk about some challenges. But in your opinion, which are the main limitations today uh, for the endovascular therapy, for the development of the technique? So I think one of the major challenges is educating the surgeon on the street who's only been brought up in uh, vascular surgery to accept and to move on with the challenge of educating themselves, learning how useful endovascular is and then using it. I think there is still a large tranche of people out there who still believe that open surgery is best in spite of evidence from randomized trials and meta-analysis showing that endo is much better in terms of saving life. The argument that they use is that endo fails gradually over the years, but that can also be taken into account and treated endovascularly. So I think it's education, education, and education. So we should focus on the education and focus on um, being able to communicate the reality. I think so. And I think, I think things move very quickly. Yeah. Uh, new techniques are proven all the time, and we have to be able to keep up with that. OK, so we are now in. Uh, in the movie, in, uh, sorry, in the TV plateau. So mm -hmm. this is a new media to, to make some education. Yes. What's your opinion on our media? I think it's a step in the right direction because I think you can take something like this and then you can show it around the world and you can use it to educate further people and, and perhaps get into uh, places and people who do not travel and who do not have the advantages of coming to a meeting such as this to be educated. Okay, so continue with the same line mm -hmm. and talking about the Congress's meetings, vascular events. What do you think this the whole thing will be in the future? It will change, it will be different, we, we shall continue? Uh, I think the, worry, the thing that worries me most is live cases because I think live cases, there's a stress on the performers to get it right, there's a time constraints of satellites if it's from different countries, and I think that live cases should die a death because everything that you need to know can be put on an edited video as was shown this morning from uh, the link yeah. and that can be shown to teach people new techniques and to educate them as how to do it and to what to watch out for so for me i think live cases sh is not the way forward but edu uh, limited highlights shown on meetings like this are very very important okay okay and um, in your opinion it's also important for us uh, in this meeting, in our meeting, mm -hmm. City Congress this year. You've been here before. Yes. I'm aware of that. So what's your opinion on our Congress? I think site is unique because uh, it brings us to another audience that we're not really used to, which is mainly the Spanish-speaking people. And now South America is, is a very important part of that. Uh, it is a very, very broad church. So you get a lot of different influences, different speakers from, from many countries talking. And it's not just the same set of people who travel around the world in a sort of circus. So I think it brings a lot of new influence, a lot of new things. It's, it's a delight to be here. It's also in Barcelona, which is fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure and an honor to have you here today with us. I uh, hope I will have you again in this situation. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. Thank you.